Hello and welcome back to Dr. Logic Awkwardly Does Logic in Her Office. In my previous video, I introduced you to the notion of a tautology, a sentence that is always true, no matter what value you give to the atomic propositions in the sentence. I also gave you a method for determining whether something is a tautology or not by filling out the full truth table and then just looking at the column underneath the main connective. I promised that I would give you a simpler and more efficient method for determining tautologies, but I'm not going to do that in this video. I'm going to push that off for a bit because I want to talk a bit more about tautologies and about some related notions. So in addition to this notion of tautology, where if you look at the column underneath the main connective, all of the truth values are true, there are some other kind of important notions similar in type that we might want to highlight. So let me just bring up my whiteboard and we can start kind of keeping track of these different notions and definitions that we're going to have. Because this is basically going to be a video of notions, definitions, and a little bit of notation. So the first one that we have is this idea of a tautology. So uh, every row in the truth table makes the well-formed formula or the with true. Now, the flip side of this is the sort of sentence where no matter what truth values you give the atoms, it always turns out false. So these are the contradictions. So every, every row in the truth table makes the well-formed formula false. Now, not many things are tautologies and not many things are contradictions. Most of the sentences that we will be looking at fall in this middle category of being consistent or merely consistent. So that is the case when, actually no, let me put it this way. Something is consistent when at least one row of the truth table makes the well-formed formula, ooh, I'm gonna run out of room, true. So the first thing to note is that you don't want to think of consistent as sometimes true, sometimes false. Consistent just is at least one true, which means that every tautology is also going to count as a consistent formula. Contradictions, because none of the lines in the truth table make the formula true, are also going to be known as inconsistent. So the consistent formulas are the merely consistent, which have some true, some false, and also the tautologies. If every row of the table is true, then at least one of them is true. And then we have the, the kind of contradictions and the inconsistencies on the other side. So now I can introduce to you some new notation. We are going to say that, uh, so this is notation related to sentences that are tautologies. Another word that we will use for them is that they are valid. Now don't get confused because when we talk about arguments, we will also use validity, but I use the same word here because it ends up being the same notion and I will point this out explicitly exactly how in a future video. Anyway, back to our definition. So we have some propositional language LP and an LP with is valid if and only if it is true on every truth value assignment to the atomic propositions. So this is just another way of stating what it is to be a tautology. But the important thing is that if phi is valid, then we write this. So this symbol that I've just written right here is called the double turn style or semantic consequence. Because this is a notion that has to do with the semantics, the meaning, the truth value of certain sentences. 
So if you have something that is going to be true on every truth value assignment, then we can write this down. Now you might recall that we had similar notation when we were talking about interpretations in the syllogistic. We would say something like, on this interpretation, some categorical proposition, say A, A, B is true. We didn't really talk about any notion of being true on every interpretation because there wasn't this notion of a tautology. We could have contradictory pairs of sentences, but no individual sentence was itself a tautology or a contradiction. So here, this is just saying that this is something that will be true no matter what truth value assignment we look at. Sometimes it's useful to be able to refer to just kind of arbitrary tautologies or arbitrary con contradictions. So we will introduce some new notation for that as well. So new notation, we will put in this symbol, which looks like a T, but is pronounced top, is any arbitrary tautology. So it could be if P then P, it could be P or not P, it could be something much more complex. But if it doesn't matter, we just need to have some sentence that is a tautology, we can use this as kind of like a placeholder in our formulas. Then we also have this guy, which is pronounced bottom because you take top and you turn it upside down and you get the bottom. And this is going to be any arbitrary contradiction. So it could be not P implies P, it could be P and not P, or it could be something more complex. So this gives us a notion of a constant formula. So we will define a constant well-formed formula is any well-formed formula that is constructed from top, bottom, and the truth functional operator. So negation, conjunction, disjunction, and implication. So even though the arbitrary tautologies and arbitrary contradictions are complex formulas, we can treat them as if they are atoms. They, we can build formulas from them in exactly the same way. And if we have a formula that doesn't contain any explicit atoms, it just has top and bottom plus the propositional combinations, it is a constant formula. And I will note something, though I'm not going to uh, give an explicit proof of it here. We'll just say that every constant well-formed formula is itself going to be either a tautology or a contradiction. So if you start off with tautologies and contradictions and you combine them using the propositional operators, you will still only have tautologies or contradictions. Now, let me, I think I will pause here because in the next video, I will talk about the relationship of this notion of validity to the notion of argument validity. As I said, I use the same word because it's gonna turn out that these are exactly the same ideas. The uh, what, one way to think of the validity of an individual formula is that it is just the conclusion of an argument that doesn't have any premises. So if you don't need to have any initial suppositions or initial kind of parts that you're starting from, well, then that's because it's something that will be true whatever starting points you start from. So let's bring this video to a close. Now you know about tautologies, contradictions, consistency, constant formulas, and all of these things are, it's just definition, notation, and basic concepts. In future videos, we will take them and we'll start doing cool things with them. So even if this video isn't necessarily very cool, there's cool things to come. See you next time. Cheers.